Download the official Link Up TV app for all the latest mixtapes, news and more. So you've now come out, you've obviously released the mixtape. Yeah. Let's talk about that. We dropped it a day early yeah. and obviously the feedback's been crazy. Yeah. How has it been on your side? Like, before I went to jail, like, my name was being spoken a lot. It worked. Maybe it was other things aside from music, but my name was being spoken a lot. So for me to come out and then the same thing again, like, it just feels normal, like... You don't really feel like nothing new. I'm not really overwhelmed or nothing like that. Oh, yeah. It feels good, don't yeah. get me wrong. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate all the love and support. But I'm just calm, like, that's just how I am, innit? I'm just calm. Nothing don't really get me excited or nothing like that, you feel me? <laughs> right, so when you was making the mixtape, why did you want to split it into three chapters? Like, what was the purpose of that? That was mainly because, I don't know if you've heard Scraps is back, but when I dropped Scraps is back, mm -hmm. My Twitter and all that weren't really popping them time there, so I had like my Facebook link and that on there, and then people used to comment on it on Facebook. Yeah. And what people used to say is like, they like the mixtape, they like they can tell man can rap, they like man's flow, whatever. But they're saying it's too hard, like it's not easy listening. A lot of people would say. Okay. Like a lot of the tracks were too hard, but that was just like man's rap's real, innit? It's just yeah, real definitely. rap. Like I rap mm -hmm. about what's going on in my life or whatever. So at that time. I dropped that mixtape 210 yeah. and in 210 there was a lot of stuff going on in it so that's just what I was rapping about but a lot of people couldn't relate to it as, yeah. yeah so this mixtape I decided like shutdown season I say it all the time that got released while I was in jail I ended up getting my hands on the CD as well mm -hmm. but I didn't like it like I'm grateful to everybody that was behind putting it out. My bridging hosted it, the man them like put the tracks together and whatever. But see if I was on the road and I didn't go, I wouldn't have dropped it like that. Like there's a lot of tracks that wouldn't have even made the tape. Okay. There's a lot of beats that I wouldn't have used and yeah. but it happened in it and like I'm saying I'm grateful to the man them for doing that. So this one like I had more time to Think make it how it. I wanted it to yeah. sound. And I was taking all them little things into consideration what people were saying about it's not easy listening and whatever but some people were saying it's perfect like don't change nothing innit okay, yeah. so then what I decided to do was to try and like cater for everybody, everybody mm -hmm. like the first chapter's called Scraps is Back that's like the old school that's like Scraps is Back the first one innit mm -hmm. like it's hard there's five tracks on there all of them's just hard, man's just talking about whatever. Definitely. And then the second chapter is called Destined for Greatness. I was just going to call that Calm, because that's how I was going to describe it as Calm, but I spoke to my bridge in Jazzy, he's inside right now, and he's very critical about things, isn't it? So when I told him that, he started laughing, <laughs> and he said, i got to come better than that. So he's come up with the name Destined for Greatness yeah. for the second chapter, and that made sense, isn't it? Because all of those tracks are, they like calm, they're, they're not yeah, soft. Yeah, the beat slows down a yeah, bit more. Yeah, they're definitely. not soft or diluted or nothing like that. Man's just talking about different things, innit? Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of them can play on radio or they could get man places, innit? Mm -hmm. So that's why I've called that Destined for Greatness. And the third chapter, Grown and Sexy, like, in my two previous mixtapes, I haven't really catered for girls in none of my tracks. Maybe one or two, I might say the odd little lyric here and there. Mm -hmm. but I haven't really catered directly for them, so I tried as hard as I could, even though it ain't like no slow jams or whatever <laughs> like that, or me singing. Like I tried as hard as I could to cater for them as well, innit? So that's just three chapters, but in those three chapters, I've tried to cater for everybody. And I've taken it into consideration that summertime's around the corner as well. Yeah. So I've tried to like build a kind of summertime vibes on it as well. Within the, probably the first chapter, like even Letter to the Fans, you talk about family and then throughout the whole mixtape. That's a really important theme, I think. So you mentioned your mum and your daughters. How does being a father influence the way you move, especially now you're out? <clears throat> well, see, before I went to jail, like, you see me... Like before I went to jail, um, without saying too much, like the jets was on man in it differently. So I felt like I was under pressure. But you see me under pressure, how I react is I just say fuck it in it. Like I just go all out kind of thing. So that's kind of why I even ended up in jail. Instead of me falling back, a lot of people was telling me fall back and chill, and I was doing that for a while. 
But I couldn't do what I had to do by falling back, so I ended up just saying fuck it and carrying on doing what I was doing. And then that's how things kind of went wrong. So now that I've come out, like when you go to jail as well, like you got a lot of time to think. So I used to think about certain things what I used to do. Like sometimes I would all like pick up my kids from school, I would drop them off, then I would touch back the roads or whatever in it. But when you go to jail, you think about them little things like, right, maybe I should have spent more time at home then. So it's little things like that that I've come out now and I'm checking properly, you get me? Like, family's important. Even through my sentence, it's my family that was supporting me, mostly. The man was there for me all the way through, but, like, you know, your family don't go nowhere. The man might go to jail. Like, I've come to jail, and then half of the man has gone to jail while I've been in jail. Like, the way I left the road, I've come out and it's nothing like that. So it's mad like that, but my family's still there. No one ain't gone missing from my family, so like they're always going to be there for you. And my kids, like they mean everything to me, so I'm just trying to be there for them. I'm trying to be that positive father figure, even though a lot of things what man rap about and that is negative, not necessarily negative, but it's just not like, it's not sort of thing what kids should be listening to, you feel me? But, yeah. I'm trying to do that to better my life so I can better their life at the same time. The song that definitely motivates and uplifts is Bless You, yeah. Bianca. Yeah. That's so honest. Yeah. And it's not something you'd not expect, but on a, like a, a rap mixtape, yeah, you wouldn't think, well, God bless my hair. Yeah. I like it. So like, what drove you to make that? It's just like, basically, you see, I don't know how to really explain it, but... I know there's a lot of people what hate man in it. Like even people what I know and will smile in my face or tell me, yo, your thing's hard or whatever. I know deep down like I'm a good judge of character in it. Mm -hmm. So I could tell if somebody's genuine or not. So I know deep down a lot of people don't really want man to make it. Like they may say good luck and all the best and whatever, but they don't really want man to make it deep down. So with that like Instead of me getting mad and even blowing them up and exposing them that, yo, I know you're not really feeling, man, you're lying. I don't even blow no, I'll just tell them, God bless you, innit? Even like certain arguments now and that, where I've come out and I'm on license now, yeah? Mm -hmm. So I gotta be careful what I do and what how I move or whatever. So yeah. certain situations what I get into now, before I would react in a different way, but now, like, I could just say God bless you. Like I could be arguing with a man or with a girl or whatever, and I just say God bless you, innit? and that will make them feel small, innit? Mm -hmm. And it will make me feel better. Like <laughs> I'll feel better, they'll feel small, just with them three little words in it. God bless you, and you just keep it moving. Three feature and nine. Yeah. You say like you're not even trying to glamorize being in jail. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Not at all. See, like my mum and that, she's got a lot of complaints about my music. Like, she knows me, she's my mum, innit? So, mm -hmm. she's saying she didn't bring me up like that or whatever. But obviously, things happen, innit? Out of her hands, out of my hands. Like, when you choose a certain road or a certain road chooses you, it's just that, innit? And you gotta live it. But the things what I rap about, I got nephews and, uh, and younger cousins what listen to man. But what my mum's saying, not just her alone, a lot of people say it, that, like, the message what I'm sending out to the kids it's not a good message even letter to my fans i dropped that while i was still in decap but when my mom heard it she saying right it's like it's like you're happy like there's a part where i'm saying that i was smiling in the dock when i got my sentence and i was i was really smiling in it she was in the court everything like i'm just like that in it i was just smiling but like i'm not trying to glamorize it i was just being real yeah. everything what i said in that song is real so I made that next song free with nines just to show like like if you're not about that life don't try and live that life in it like I'm not trying to glamorize going to jail like it's a cool thing it's long Jay is long there ain't nothing good about it the only thing I wouldn't even say that it's good about jail but like it gives you time to get your mind right if you're yeah in 2010 and 2011 there was a lot of things going on in it so it was like a break for me. Jail was kind of like a break and it gave me time to reflect on a lot of things and also like make certain preparations for when I come out. 
while you're caught up in the mix and all that on the road you don't really get time to sort things out like how I had the time to do it in jail so but that's like the only positive thing out of jail like you get time to sort out your head certain man go to the library enough they read enough books like they educate themselves in it but that's about it apart from that there's nothing good about going to jail it's just a waste of time like your whole life so I'm, I went to jail when I was 25 I've come out 27 mm. like, I've missed them too even though it ain't long I don't Still even see that years. as a long sentence but it is long at the same time yeah I missed out on my kids growing in them two years and four months I missed a lot of things there's a lot of people that I won't even see again because I was in jail and then I've come out and then they're not there no more, innit? Mm-hmm. So, so when's the, the full song coming out? Because a lot of people... The full song will be on Nines' mixtape. I'm okay. not sure if he wants me to announce the name of his mixtape or the date, so coming I'll just leave it there. Yeah, it's coming soon. Okay, cool. It's done. I heard it yesterday. It sounds crazy. This is why I smile a lot as well. <laughs> I just know what's about to happen in it. Like my mixtapes just drop. Yeah. It's doing what it's doing. Mm-hmm. And then his one's gonna drop on top of that. So it's like it's gonna pop off. Yeah, we're just bound to blow. We have to. And that's not it. It's not just me and him what rap, you know, there's bear man. Not bear man, but there's a good five or six other man was dope. Like people talk about my flow, people talk about his punch. No one don't really punch slide like nines anyway, but when it comes to flows and lyrics and whatever, there's bear man from town what what have got potential to blow like to get to the same little place where me and him's at right now. But they just haven't taken that step yet. And it's only a matter of time, so But you've put quite a lot of pe- not quite a lot, but you've got some people on your mixtape. But yeah. it's in house. Yes, yeah, in house. That's how all of my mixtapes have been like that's what I do in it like I'm not really a man that will I feel a lot of UK artists don't get me wrong I'm not gonna go into no names because too much names to mention but I feel a lot of UK artists but at the same time like I just try and keep it if I'm putting out a CD I want it to be a CD of us kind of thing like, okay yeah but gigs yeah I was gonna say gigs got gigs on there yeah gigs imagine me and gigs was in jail together we was in Belmars together in I think it was 212. But at that stage I had got my sentence and he was on remand. So like I kinda knew when I was coming out. And when you're on remand, you don't know when you're coming out, innit? You haven't been to court or nothing. So you don't know what's gonna happen. And his situation, what he was in, he didn't know. Like it could have got a lot stickier than it ended up being. But anyway, me and him used to reason in the corridors or whatnot about music, about the game. He said he had heard man's music before Kai had done a track with one of his brethren, um, Killer Kai, Kai Vali. Me and him done a track that was on shutdown season. So he said, I think he was going to a show one time or something and he heard the track. And from then, like, he used to check out man's videos or whatever. So he's saying he's been feeling the man then from a long time. So I ended up leaving him in there. I got shipped out to a next job, so I didn't know how his case ended up. But obviously it was a big thing when he bust his case, so just by listening to radio and all of that, I found yeah. out he was out. Yeah. And then when I got to the DCAT, um, yeah, I got my hands on one of them phones, but you can go online on that with. I used to chat to him on Twitter and that, and then bam, it just happened like that. I said I want him on the tape, and he was like, cool, like, he said, yeah, no problem. I sent him over the track, he done what he was doing, sent it back. So it's quite organic. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good song, I like it. Thank you. So also you talk about your friends and you've touched on that, how you've come out mm. and a lot of people who you were with before in the streets and stuff have gone back into prison. Yeah. And like vice versa. So how do you manage to stay strong when all your friends are in and it's a completely different thing? Does it make you want to work harder so when they come yeah, out? Yeah, yeah, definitely. That kind of motivates me. Like a lot of times... Listening back to my mixtape, I realise a lot of times, like, I'll say free this person or free that person or I want to be a millionaire but by the time this person comes home or whatever. But that's the truth. Like, I really do want to be a millionaire by the time the man them come home, innit? Mm-hmm. And, like, it does motivate me. Like, I got a bridge in. He's just got a life sentence, innit? So, I'm looking at, like, if he's sitting in his cell and he phones the roles, like, yo, what's the man I'm keeping up with? 
and then Mamo said, tell him nothing, like nothing's going on, it's dead out here, whatever. Yeah, that ain't gonna uplift him or keep his head strong or whatever. Yeah. If he phones the road and the man them say, yo, Scraps has just dropped his mixtape, he's doing a madness, Nines his tapes dropping, like the man is doing stuff. That's gonna give him a good feeling, innit? I know that from experience, from when I'm hearing certain things what the man is doing on the road. When I put down the phone, I feel good. Mm -hmm. Even though you're pissed that you're not out there with them, but it still it feels feel good, good. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely gonna push it all the way for them, especially. And one of the songs that I like the most, which mm. is in this section, the third chapter, yeah. is Waiting with Bianca. Okay. So what, did you write that when you was in jail? Yeah, I wrote that. Yeah, from I jail. could tell. But you know how that came about even. Imagine I wanted Bianca on my tape in it. She was on um shutdown season. I think she's dope. She was on Nines' tape as well. So I wanted her on my tape, so I've hollered at her. She said to me, Boom, she's got a track. Like she's got some vocals on the track. I must listen to it and tell her what I think. So she sent it over to me. I've listened to it, but at the same time, just coincidentally, like the same kind of track, what I wanted her to do is what she sent me. Okay. Like I wanted that kind of vibes where like I'm talking about my relationship or whatever, yeah. And then the hook, what she sent was just perfect. So when she sent the hook, I used to just play it on my phone. I wrote down the three verses for it. Bam, I've come out on a town visit or a homie, one of the two. Gone studio, laid it down, and then that was just it. But like I touched, like it was personal that track there, innit? Definitely. Because like without saying too much, like. I mean, it says a lot. Yeah, if you listen it says, to it, it yeah. Says a lot. You just listen to it, and you know, innit? <laughs> so that's it. But it's real. Like the whole mixtape's real, innit? There yeah. ain't nothing on the mixtape that ain't real. Like I'm saying, if anything sounds like raw. Is things what man are trying to achieve in it. Like I don't ever f talk about things what I haven't done. I may think talk about things what I'm trying to do or where I'm trying to reach, but it's all real. If I say I'm trying to make a million dollars, I mean a million pounds. I'm really trying to make a million pounds. You get me? It's not a lie. So yeah, that's just it. Okay, so last question. If Scraps had one wish, what would it be? To be successful. That's about it. <laughs>